And I did some digging and I found a bunch of different studies that basically was trying to explain that and looked into that. So I just want to dig up one right now. Let's take a look at this. I wanted to do a two year update since I lowered my cholesterol by over 130 points without using any medication, no statins, nothing. I lowered my cholesterol by over 130 points by using fiber. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it above right here. Watch that video. Come back here. Watch this video because I'm going to give you some interesting information when it comes to my personal blood cholesterol, as well as some studies that kind of explain what's going on with my personal blood cholesterol. Okay, so let's dig into this. First and foremost, I want to preface this by saying that I've made an effort to keep my fiber nice and high. Okay? It's, it's been nice and high for years now. I always have oatmeal in the morning and sometimes I'll have some Metamucil in the evening because that also has some soluble fiber in it and I think that can help with your blood cholesterol. Let's look at my cholesterol over the last two years. Check it out. I wanna tell you that normally in the winter time, I gain a little bit of weight. When springtime comes around, I lose that weight. Winter time, gain weight, springtime, lose weight. Then I maintain that weight until winter, gain weight, lose weight, I'm basically like a bear, okay? It's like hibernation. But anyway, let's take a look. January 28th of 2020, uh, my cholesterol is a little bit high. And again, this isn't broken down. These are just free, free cholesterol tests that I get through Vitalant, which was Central Blood Bank. So they give you a little wellness panel. And uh, my cholesterol is a little high. So when I was gaining weight, my cholesterol is a little high. Um, kind of maintained that weight for a little bit. And you can see uh, 10 months later, cholesterol came down a little bit. A couple months after that, cholesterol remains the same. And then what do we see? Okay. So we see in April, my cholesterol goes up, which is odd because in April is when I'm losing weight. And when you're losing weight, when, when you're losing weight, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be having better cholesterol levels, right? We'll get into it. I maintain that weight. Okay. And then let's take a look. So two months later, my cholesterol is down over 50 points. Okay. So it went up and then it went way back down. Okay. And I decided not to really get that much fatter in the winter. Um, kind of, kind of over that, trying to get as you know bigger and then smaller. I just kind of want to be fit all year round. We can see again, you know, in in April, and that's when I start losing weight. In April of 2022, my cholesterol, my cholesterol did shoot up a little bit again. Okay, not as high as it was, but it did shoot up. So this is what I think. Okay, when I'm gaining weight, my total cholesterol goes up. When I'm losing weight, there's a transient increase in my blood cholesterol as well. Okay? I'm not that worried about it though, okay? because it's transient. And I did some digging and I found a bunch of different studies that basically was trying to explain that and looked into that. So I just want to dig up one right now. Let's take a look at this. Weight loss and transient LDL increases. Now I'm not going to read over this whole thing. If you want to see the whole thing, I'll put it in the description down below. But more or less what they had is, is they had people lose weight. And then after time, they took a look at their cholesterol levels. And this is the conclusion. In these cases, we observed a transient increase in LDL. However, size of LDL measured is unknown. Therefore, any concern about the long-term effects of VLCDs on cardiovascular health will need further prospective studies to help elucidate lipid metabolism as people lose weight. And that's basically what I experience. okay? So when I'm gaining weight, my cholesterol goes up. When I'm losing weight, my cholesterol also goes up, but it's transient. And now, how damaging is that to your heart? Uh, I would venture to say probably not damaging at all. I think losing weight is probably very good for your heart. I'm not gonna tell you not to do it because you may see a transient increase in cholesterol levels because once my weight stabilizes, and again, this is just me, once my weight stabilizes, uh, my cholesterol goes right back down. And in fact, it's, it's often lower if I'm leaner after I'm done losing weight. So there's a slight fluctuation in cholesterol based on my body weight, whether I'm gaining or losing weight at the time. So I found that interesting. Um, but again, don't be surprised if you're somebody that has been losing weight or you wanna lose weight and you go for a blood test, you're like, oh, this is it. This is gonna look really good. And then your LDL is up a little bit, okay? Seems like in my experience, LDL will go up a little bit with some weight loss. Uh, it seems like some of these studies are elucidating the same thing. Maybe you'll have a little bit of LDL increase during weight loss, but I'm not convinced that it's, it's too much to worry about. But again, that's just how I live my life. I'm not a doctor. 
Uh, if you want doctor's advice, go talk to somebody with an MD after their name. I'm just a gym owner, okay? Which takes me to what this channel is all about. This channel is all about making you a more complete beast. So take, take a look. We obviously talk about health, we talk about fitness. If you've looked at my channel, that is the bedrock of this channel. And the reason it's the bedrock is because I believe that is the bedrock for everything you do. If you have a strong, healthy body, you can just do more stuff. You're gonna live longer so you can get more done, not to mention you're gonna have more energy throughout the day. So outside of just fitness, we talk about real estate because that's something I understand. We also talk about small business entrepreneurship because that's something I understand. Look, all these things are related. If you can excel in one of these things, you can excel in all three of these things because the principles that make you successful in one will make you successful in all of them. So if you can get behind any of that, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you learned something, if you liked the video, if you at least watched my first video on cholesterol, now you're watching my second video, my update on cholesterol, then do me a favor, like this video. If you haven't seen that first video, how I lowered my cholesterol by over 130 points, without using any statins, I want you to click the video here. I'm gonna put it right here, okay? Click that video. If you've already seen that video, I'll put another one right down here. Click that video, and then we'll get you pointed in the right direction. So again, I'm Alex Wallace. I'm trying to make you a more complete beast, just like I'm trying to be one. So do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like it if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.